Kentucky, often celebrated for its bluegrass melodies, bourbon distilleries, and world-class horse racing, is typically seen as a tranquil, tradition-rich state nestled in the American South. But beneath its rolling pastures and wooded highlands lies a realm so bizarre and unexplored that it continues to baffle scientists. In recent years, a series of astonishing discoveries buried within the state's ancient caves, forgotten mines, and quiet farmlands have upended conventional understanding. From disappearing rivers to seismic anomalies and fossil finds that defy classification, Kentucky is emerging not just as a cultural heartland, but as a scientific enigma. These discoveries are not only rewriting the story of the state's geology and deep past, they're reshaping the broader narrative of how life and Earth interact. Among the most astonishing of these revelations came in late 2024, when researchers exploring the subterranean depths of Mammoth Cave, a site already renowned as the world's longest known cave system, made a finding that stunned even veteran geologists. Using advanced high-resolution ground-penetrating radar, a massive hidden void was detected beneath previously mapped cave passages. This newly uncovered expanse, soon dubbed the Black Abyss, appeared to stretch for miles, its full scope still unknown. Isolated from surface air and light for what may be tens of thousands of years, the chamber's silence was first betrayed by a strange acoustic dead zone an absence of subterranean vibrations that raised immediate scientific interest. To investigate further, researchers drilled boreholes through layers of ancient limestone and deployed drones equipped with sonar and infrared mapping systems. What they found was extraordinary. Towering stalactites and stalagmites encrusted with untouched mineral deposits, intricate airflow corridors, and vast echo chambers that hinted at a labyrinth of interconnected voids. Environmental sensors painted an even more intriguing picture, humidity levels unlike those seen elsewhere in the cave. A distinct barometric pressure and the presence of trace gases that suggested the possibility of biological activity. The conditions within this abyssal space could support entire microbial or fungal ecosystems, potentially home to life forms uniquely evolved to thrive in total darkness and isolation. Some scientists propose that these organisms might offer insights into extremophile biology, organisms capable of surviving in hostile environments. In fact, the sealed-off world beneath Mammoth Cave may serve as a compelling analog for extraterrestrial environments, such as the subsurface oceans of Jupiter's moon Europa. Yet the mystery comes with significant risk. Sharp gradients in gas concentration, and dangerously low oxygen levels make human exploration perilous, demanding specialized equipment and extreme caution. Still, the implications are profound. The Black Abyss could fundamentally shift the understanding of how ecosystems form in isolation, how geology shapes hidden habitats, and how life against all odds finds a way to endure even in Earth's darkest corners. In early 2025, Central Kentucky became the stage for a series of alarming geological events. Without warning, massive sinkholes erupted across multiple counties, including Fayette, Warren, and Hardin, leaving behind scenes of devastation and bewilderment. What stunned geologists most was the complete absence of any precursory signs. There were no surface fissures, no tremors, no indication of structural weakening, only sudden and catastrophic collapses that devoured roadways, farmland, and even a vacant commercial building. One particularly dramatic collapse unfolded near Bowling Green, where a yawning sinkhole more than 200 feet wide and nearly 90 feet deep engulfed a section of a state highway. When researchers lowered sensors and imaging equipment into the abyss, they discovered a network of vast subterranean caverns riddled with unstable gas pockets and alarmingly high concentrations of carbon dioxide. Fossilized remains of ancient vegetation were also recovered, hinting at a prehistoric ecosystem long entombed beneath the surface. Experts believe these sinkholes result from a dangerous interplay between human activity and the region's naturally fragile geology. Kentucky's landscape, rich in karst formations shaped by soluble limestone, has long been vulnerable to erosion over the last hundred years, widespread coal mining has carved out countless underground voids, many of which remain unsupported. 
These artificial hollows combined with the slow, natural dissolution of bedrock by seeping rainwater and irrigation runoff have created a hidden architecture of instability. As aquifers shift and water pressure that once braced these subterranean cavities is depleted, due in part to changing climate patterns and increased groundwater extraction, the land above becomes dangerously fragile. In response, the Kentucky Geological Survey has begun deploying advanced subsurface motion detectors and pressure sensors in high-risk zones. Despite these efforts, vast areas, particularly those near legacy mine sites, remain poorly mapped and insufficiently monitored. Officials are now encouraging residents to report subtle warning signs such as unusual ground vibrations, minor shifts, or sudden vegetation die-offs, all of which could signal a looming collapse. This unfolding crisis may offer a glimpse of future risks across other parts of the Midwest, where similar geologic conditions and mining histories intersect. For now, however, Kentucky stands at the forefront of a growing geotechnical challenge its very foundation proving far less stable than once believed. Meanwhile, deep beneath Kentucky's rolling hills, another discovery is telling a much older story. In a remote, unmapped branch of one of the state's vast cave systems, paleontologists in early 2025 uncovered fossilized human footprints believed to date back over 12,000 years. These were not vague impressions, but detailed, deliberate tracks showing clear toe imprints stride patterns, and even drag marks, likely from tools or belongings being carried. The footprints were found more than 200 feet below today's surface, entombed under thick layers of mineral buildup and sediment. Their extraordinary depth suggests that this section of the cave was once open and accessible, perhaps even well-frequented during the closing chapter of the last ice age. This was a time when glacial forces were reshaping the continent and human communities were adapting to dramatic environmental shifts. Among the preserved prints were those of both adults and children, hinting at family groups exploring or inhabiting the cave together. Some impressions suggested bare feet, others revealed signs of thin-soled coverings, possibly among the earliest forms of footwear. Alongside the tracks, researchers discovered charred wood fragments, sharpened bone tools, and primitive stone implements clues that point to short-term shelter use or perhaps even ritual activity deep underground. Radiocarbon analysis of the surrounding sediment confirmed the antiquity of the site, aligning with the late Pleistocene epoch. Paleoanthropologists are engaged in an intense debate over the purpose of the cave visits uncovered in Kentucky. Were these dark, winding chambers merely seasonal refugees from the elements? Sacred spaces for ceremonial rites? or vital escape routes during extreme climatic shifts. The variety and placement of ancient footprints raise profound questions about early social organization. Why were children, some barely walking, led deep into the suffocating darkness of such caves? Could these journeys have marked a rite of passage into adulthood or served a more symbolic purpose tied to belief systems now lost to history? This discovery carries sweeping implications for the broader understanding of early human migration across the Americas. Evidence from this site strengthens the hypothesis that humans traversed the Ohio River Valley far earlier and with greater mobility than once believed. It disrupts long-held notions about the simplicity of Paleo-Indian life, suggesting instead a dynamic, complex society capable of organized movement, symbolic behavior, and intergenerational cohesion. To protect these fragile remnants from the damaging effects of air exposure, a team of specialists is working to digitally map and preserve the site. High-resolution 3D models and physical casts are being created, enabling researchers around the globe to study these ancient human imprints without risking their further degradation. What emerges from this painstaking effort is a story etched into the very bedrock of Kentucky, a story of resilience, survival, and mystery stretching back thousands of years. Meanwhile, in an abandoned coal mine deep beneath eastern Kentucky, geologists stumbled upon a find of staggering significance in late 2024. A fossilized forest so perfectly preserved it appears as though time itself paused mid-breath. Towering tree trunks still stand upright. Branches remain delicately in place. Root systems sprawl outward, frozen in their growth. Yet, in a surreal twist, 
much of the forest lies inverted, roots reaching skyward, while leafy canopies lie buried under layers of ancient sediment. This prehistoric landscape, dating back more than 300 million years to the Carboniferous period, paints a vivid portrait of a time when Kentucky's land was a humid swamp, rich with oxygen and teeming with strange primeval flora. Among the fossils are lycopsids, gigantic club moss-like trees that loomed over the wetlands like ancient sentinels, alongside ferns and seed ferns that flourished in the thick, oxygen-rich air. Preservation is so extraordinary that researchers can study minute details like bark textures and microscopic spore cases. One prevailing theory posits that a massive geologic upheaval, perhaps an earthquake or sudden land collapse, flipped the forest upside down just before it could rot, entombing it in mud and ash in a cataclysmic instant. Paleobotanists consider this one of the most exquisitely preserved coal forests in North America. The orientation and pristine condition are offering rare insights into ancient plant life. How species competed, how ecosystems functioned, and how symbiotic relationships evolved. Even pollen distribution and root architecture are providing clues to the biological rhythms of this ancient world. Beyond its botanical intrigue, the forest holds immense value for climate science. The lush vegetation of the Carboniferous era was a powerful force in capturing atmospheric carbon dioxide, playing a pivotal role in cooling the planet and laying down the vast coal beds that would one day fuel modern industry. Now this subterranean relic is being considered for designation as a protected underground research preserve. Until then, access remains restricted, with experts racing to capture every detail through digital scanning before the encroaching air and moisture begin to erode this window into Earth's distant past. In early 2025, a surge of seismic activity in western Kentucky began to unsettle long-held assumptions about the region's geological calm. This unexpected wave of earthquakes has turned the spotlight onto the New Madrid Seismic Zone, an infamously volatile but often overlooked fault system stretching through the central United States. Traditionally considered to lie west of Kentucky, new geophysical evidence now suggests its eastern boundaries may be expanding beneath the state's western edge. Over a span of just three weeks, more than 40 minor tremors rippled through the area near Paducah. Among them, a shallow 4.2 magnitude earthquake startled residents and was felt as far as Louisville. The quakes occurring at depths of less than five kilometers imply seismic forces are operating closer to the surface, raising the stakes for a potential damage. Scientists from the University of Kentucky and the U.S. Geological Survey have rapidly deployed a network of portable seismometers to monitor the evolving situation. Initial data points to rising stress along previously undetected fault lines. These hidden segments may be absorbing tectonic strain, accumulating energy in ways not seen in this region before. The New Madrid Seismic Zone is infamous for the catastrophic earthquakes of 1811 to 1812. Tremors so fierce they reversed the flow of the Mississippi River. If even a fraction of that power were to be unleashed today, the impact could cripple infrastructure across multiple states. Recent studies now propose that tectonic pressure originating from the Real Foot Rift system is migrating eastward into Kentucky, potentially establishing a new seismic hotspot where none was previously anticipated. Complicating matters, the underlying landscape features karst formations and possible subterranean gas pathways, both of which could intensify the destructive effects of a major quake. These findings have prompted emergency management teams to reassess hazard maps, strengthen building regulations, and roll out public education campaigns, urging households to prepare earthquake response plans, something rarely considered necessary in this part of the country. What was once thought to be geologically dormant is now stirring. The ground beneath Kentucky's bluegrass region is shifting, and seismologists caution that this may mark the beginning of a new tectonic chapter. Meanwhile, a discovery of a very different kind has emerged from the shadowed depths of Daniel Boone National Forest. In a quiet, moss-laden corner of this ancient woodland, a team of mycologists has uncovered a new species of glowing fungus that seems to belong more to science fiction than to Appalachian soil. 
Known scientifically as Mycena Appalachia lucida, but nicknamed blue ghost shrooms, these bioluminescent fungi emit a soft, ethereal blue-green light. The glow gently illuminates the forest floor at night, transforming patches of earth into scenes of quiet wonder. Though hikers have long reported mysterious nighttime lights deep in the forest, their claims were often dismissed as sightings of fireflies or misperceptions of moonlight. It wasn't until a dedicated fungal research initiative in 2024 that the true source was identified. What sets this fungus apart is a newly observed biochemical system. While it shares the basic Lucifer and Luciferase pathway responsible for light production in fireflies, its molecular structure appears to include an additional, previously unrecorded compound. This suggests a unique adaptation with unknown ecological purposes. Early research hints that the fungus may use its glow for more than simple predator deterrence or reproductive signaling. There is growing speculation that the bioluminescence plays a role in microbial communication, perhaps synchronizing spore dispersal during high humidity periods, or even forming cooperative relationships with certain soil bacteria. If confirmed, this would mark a significant breakthrough in understanding forest floor ecosystems and the chemical languages of fungi. Recent laboratory investigations have uncovered compelling biochemical traits in a rare fungal species. Preliminary assays indicate that its luciferous enzymes may be applicable in the development of eco-friendly lighting technologies, or as energy-efficient biosensors within medical instrumentation. Intriguingly, this fungus also exhibits an inherent resistance to pathogens that commonly devastate other cultivated fungi, hinting at its promise in both agricultural resilience and pharmaceutical innovation. In southern Kentucky, an enigmatic river that intermittently disappears beneath the earth and resurfaces miles away continues to confound both residents and scientists. Long observed by locals, this hydrological anomaly drew national focus in 2024 when a team employed dye tracing and GPS-based tracking to unravel its subterranean path. Contrary to expectations, the river does not follow a linear route, but navigates a labyrinthine system of karst tunnels, sinkholes, and seasonal channels. Its journey fluctuates based on rainfall, barometric pressure, and subtle seismic movements, rendering the system erratic and unpredictable. This dynamism poses serious environmental challenges. Contaminants introduced upstream may emerge in distant, unforeseen locations, endangering groundwater supplies and nearby wells. If you found this fascinating, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into nature's most mind-blowing secrets. Until next time, stay curious.